You're watching DVTV, North Texas's leading source for online LGBT video. Hey everyone, welcome to this June 15th edition of DVTV. I'm Ben Briscoe. We start with the long-awaited construction update. DVTV's Lacey Bruschi hit the streets to bring you the news. After months of construction, the Cedar Springs Bridge over the Dallas North Tollway will reopen Monday, June 25th. However, it is to be noted that on the 23rd and the 24th, it will be closed not in one direction as it is now, but in both. I'm Lacey Brucci reporting to you from the Dallas North Tollway. With the runoff elections only one day away, it seems more people are taking an active interest now than in the first polling day. Voter turnout for early voting increased more than 29% over the May 12th general election. The two leaders in polling locations are both in territories that are widely considered to be full of supporters for openly gay mayoral candidate Ed Oakley. Despite the increase in voters so far, openly gay city council candidate Joseph Hernandez is still trying to encourage the LGBT community to cast their ballots on Saturday. The GLBT vote is very important, not only because I'm the right candidate, but because we need fair representation at the table. We need to have somebody who can carry the torch for the GLBT community. I'm up to that challenge, I'm ready for it, and I've been doing it through my work with local organizations in Dallas. And, and it's going to help. The GLBT vote is very important. It's a growing demographic. It's a large population. It's a very active population. We are we deserve the recognition that the other minority groups deserve and get as an, a unified people. While I got the chance to sit down with Hernandez, I also asked him about Dallas Voice staff writer David Webb's article last week about the Whisper campaign over Hernandez's sexual orientation. He had this to say. You're going to have a Whisper campaign in any campaign that you're running, whether it's city council or whether it's mayor, and I think we've seen our fair share around the city during this election cycle. But the Whisper campaign really just doesn't deserve a lot of our time and effort because we have to stay focused on what the issues are, and I think my campaign has done a great job at doing that. Make sure to check back Monday for a full wrap-up of election coverage right here on DVTV. We'll have the winners and the losers, election night parties, and what the results mean to you. But for now, check out what DVTV's Gus Klein has for the weekend entertainment options. Hey everyone, this is Gus Klein with your entertainment news for the weekend. And you simply can't miss this. Miss Pepper Mache is performing Midnight on Friday at TMC. Not quite sure who she is? Think it's a drag name? Guess again, and I will direct you to page 117 of the Dallas Voice so you can learn about her music stylings and contributions to Queer as Folk. Then you may attend her concert. Friday night, TMC at Midnight. Saturday, start your night at Gay Bingo. This month's theme is Queen of Denial. Look for yours truly calling balls throughout the night. The doors open at 5. Spinderella one time. Work your way over to Mink after 10, where DJ Spinderella of Salt and Peppa fame spins some grooves you can use. 10 o'clock before 11. Sunday, take your dad for a mimosa and tell him about the gay birds and the gay bees. If you have any entertainment news you would like to submit or have us attend, please drop us an email at dvtv at dallasvoice.com. From Dallas, Texas, I'm Gus Klein. You've been entertained. Have a great weekend. Join us again for more news and entertainment at DallasVoice.com. You can also catch us always on demand at Oakland.tv. From Dallas, Texas, I'm Ben Briscoe. This has been your life, your news, your voice.